Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 16th of July and it's 8.40 in the evening. Right, today's video. Um, I've got some die cast to show you, again. <laughs> While I was over at Mum's today, the die cast guy sent me some photos and said, did I want this carry case complete with cars for 20 quid? So I said, yes. <laughs> And bought a few others um, while I was there. I've also got a vintage toy that I want to show you. But before we look at those, I've got a story that I want to tell you um, of something that happened to me last night. And I'm not going to blame anyone if they don't believe me. I fully understand because personally, I still can't get my head around it myself. So uh, here we go. So, I suffer with acid, acid? <laughs> acid reflux, I've no idea what happened there, <laughs> um, and heartburn. And last night I'd gone to bed at 11 o'clock as normal, um, I had a couple of antacids and played games on my phone while I sucked on them. I could chew the antacids but I don't know, I just like to sit there and suck on them like a couple of, you know, sweets that you suck on or something. Um, well, I went to bed, then I first woke up literally in a couple of hours, that's about one o'clock actually, I think, one, one thirty. You know, went to the bathroom, come back to bed, and I'd actually laid on my left side, which meant I was facing into the bedroom, so, you know, I could see all the model railway and everything like that, the fan, the radio, anywho, fell asleep again quite quick. Sometimes I can fall asleep quite quick, and then other times I can take hours, but anyway. Fell asleep pretty quick. Then I was woken quite abruptly at about 2.40 in the morning. And I say I was woken because I believe something woke me up. So, you know, I woke up... You know like when you wake up and you feel startled, as if something startled you awake? Because you've heard a loud noise or something, that's what it felt like. Um, and as soon as my eyes opened, the first thing I actually saw was a figure leaning over me. Not a very tall figure, um, but it was clear as daylight, apart from I couldn't see the hands or the face. Um, but the clothing, torso, and legs. We're as clear as I can see that camera right now. And I think that's what actually freaked me out the most. In fact, it was that clear, guys. I shot up in bed before I realised I was having very bad acid reflux, thinking someone had actually gotten into my flat and was, you know, an intruder or something. That's what I thought it was. Then I started, when I sat up, I actually started coughing. And I realised, oh crap acid reflux, I need to, you know, sort this out and whatnot. And the figure just faded into nothing. It just gradually faded. And I, it's not something I saw at the corner of my eye. I actually watched it directly fade. Um, so, yeah, again, none of this was at the corner of my eyes. I was looking at it directly, straight at it. And... I think we can rule out sleep paralysis because I shot up in bed, so it certainly wasn't that. And all of this, you know, happened within split seconds of each other. Um, yeah, and the acid reflux was so bad, I could actually feel it completely. But it, for about an hour afterwards, I could feel this all just burning, just a burning sensation. Even after, you know, drinking and having some more antacids, I think I had three in total. One to neutralise all that acid and two just to get rid of that horrible taste. <laughs> um, and I think this is probably, I would say it's probably one of the worst ones I had just because of the amount of burning I was feeling. Um, most of the time I don't feel a burning sensation. And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe when I was laying on my side, even though I believe the left side is meant to be the best side to lay on when you suffer with heartburn and acid reflux, Apparently, in my case, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm guessing that was sitting in my um, in my gullet for quite some time before I woke up. Um, or was um, rudely awakened. Because I really do believe 
that whatever I saw woke me up for that reason. Because if not, that probably could have done some serious damage, or I could have even choked on it. Because I've woken up choking on it before. But it's really, really nasty. I think I know what caused it. It's, you know, what I had ate yesterday. Because I had pastries. I actually had some sausage rolls with barbecue sauce. Just because I wanted something different, and I actually enjoyed the sausage rolls. The problem is, and I know this, if I eat pastries, especially, they give me killer heartburn. <laughs> so I'm blaming the sausage rolls, and the barbecue sauce being a bit spicy probably didn't help that either. But I know from the past, even when I've had pastries without a spicy sauce, I get the heartburn, so... Yeah, I'm just going to have to stay away from one of my favourite snacks, which is sausage rolls and other pastries. Because apparently my tummy does not like it. Um, I still can't get my head around what I saw. I know I saw it. I was looking at, directly at it. And not just for a split second. Well, I suppose it was a bit of a split. <laughs> Probably a couple of seconds at most. Um, especially when I first laid eyes on it. I, you know, like I said, I actually thought there was someone in my flat. I thought someone was there. An actual person, and it turned out it wasn't. Um, so, the, you know, the options here are either I'm going completely gaga and saw something that wasn't there, you know, I'm just going... Or, I actually saw a spirit that was um, waking me up. You see, the thing is, the clothes it was wearing reminded me so much of a photo I've seen of my late granddad. He died when I was like a year old. Um, and I saw the clothes he wore in that photo, which was just basically a plain white shirt, that's what it looked like in the photo, with a very dark jacket and dark trousers. That's exactly what it looked like I saw. I'd swear to God if I didn't know better, that was my granddad that was watching out for me. Like I said, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised, and I understand if people are a bit sceptical on it, you know, and don't believe that sort of thing. It's, I'm not here to try and, you know, persuade people to believe in the paranormal. It's, a, it's your choice, you know. Whatever you believe is fine. Um, and you know, like I said at the beginning, I, I personally do believe in such things, mainly from person, when my tongue decides to work, m mainly just from personal experience in the past. The only reason I go by personal experience, mostly is because a lot of stuff that's on the internet nowadays to me is just a load of crap. It's just people faking it. Some of it is actually obviously fake, but some of it is done so well, you know, that it turns out later it is fake because it was like some animation student or someone, you know, just playing around with some animations for um, their course or something. Um, you know, it's just amazing, in a sense, how good that these... Um, I don't really want to call them fakers, but, you know, it's just ridiculous how good that they can do it. I don't know why I went like that. And my mind's all over the place and I'm tired. And like I said, I'm still trying to get my head around what I saw last night. Anyway, feel free to let me know in the comments your thoughts. You know, if you've got any other more logical explanations behind what could have happened. I'm all ears, I'm all ears to listen to logical explanations. Anyway, should we have a look at these models? So, he actually threw one in free. <laughs> so I've got this little escort for nothing, he threw that one in. Not really my sort of thing, a rally escort, but hey ho, it's free. And it's in nice condition as well. Is that 
rally car thing at all. What? Because this has only got one door mirror. It's only got the driver's door mirror. It doesn't have one on the passenger side. I guess I did call it driver's side because it is left-hand drive. <laughs> Actually, quickly, speaking of left-hand drive and right-hand drive, I noticed something um, after watching a video yesterday on YouTube. It's a channel that I've watched for several years now. It's called Junkyard Digs. And the guy got a free boat. Which he'd had in storage for a couple of years because you know they've been moving house and whatnot since then, so I just sort of got shoved onto the back burner sort of thing. But he finally got to it, you know, and he was fixing it all up. He fixed a four cylinder and found it had leaks everywhere, the four cylinder engine that is, and the bit that I don't know what it's called, but it's the bit the engine connects to that goes into the water with the propeller on. He serviced all that and found that had a hairline clip. It was literally one problem after the other. Anyway, the one thing I noticed is that it seems that boats in America are right-hand drive. And I noticed here, boats in Britain are left-hand drive. But our cars are right-hand drive and American cars are left-hand drive. My stepdad said that the reason boats here are left-hand drive... I might have to go and uh, separate my two fur kids. I call them fur kids because they are behaving exactly like a couple of toddlers. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, my stepdad was telling me today that the reason that our boats are left-hand drive is because on the rivers we're meant to drive on the right hand side of the river, not the left, like we would on the roads. Um, so I don't know if that's the reason in America, you know, if they have similar rules over there, but opposite to ours, so they would drive on the their boats on the left of a river. <clears throat> anyway, um, I want to show you two more. Because I didn't know he had these until I got there. But he got them from the car boot this morning. Because um, he did the one over at Stalin because Alshams was cancelled yesterday. So I bought this one because it is in mint condition basically and it cost me a fiver. I have got a couple of others the same as this. I can't remember if that's a Morris. I think it is a Morris J. Morris J2, I knew it was a Morris J something. But yeah, I've got a couple others like this in nowhere near as good condition. This is pretty much mint. Other than mint and boxed, I don't think you'll get better than this one. I can't... Well, actually, I would say near mint. Because I can only see a couple of marks and the builder's supply company transfers are actually in extremely good condition as well. Look at the base. Looks like new. <laughs> and let me just check the rivets. Nope, the rivets have not been drilled, so it is original. And we've got this one here as well. I have got another one of these, and I th this one is in better condition. And again, that one cost me a fiver. But I don't mind paying good money for minters. And to be perfectly honest, if I want to find these on eBay, it would have cost me more if I counted in the shipping as well. In fact, they would have cost me more than the five or I paid five each. I paid for these alone. You know. But uh, the diecast guy, he, he makes a profit on everything he sells, but, you know, he's not one of these guys that really hike up the price. He could if he wanted to, but... Or maybe because I'm a regular, he just cuts a little bit off. In fact, I know he's done that a few times. Anywho, he sent me photos of this while I was over at Mum's today. I wondered why my phone was going absolutely bonkers. I'm trying to work on bikes in the workshop because I picked up a couple of vintage um, men's bikes today. One Triumph and one Rally with the old rod brakes, rod operated brakes and whatnot. One of those was absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely. 
I'm so glad I actually bought them. Anyway, my phone was just going ding, 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 ding. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Go away, Facebook. Anyway, I got up and checked it, and yeah, that was him that sent me a photo of this. Um, and asked for what? It for just 20 quid with all the cars. It has got 48 different cars in here, although some of these I'm going to put in my scrap box because I can use them for parts for when I finally get back into restoring and customs again. I want to get back into that. I just seem to be stockpiling various projects and parts, cars and whatnot at the minute. Um, but yeah, there is 48 in here. Um, so if you're wondering why did I buy this when I'm probably only going to keep like one or two out of this. I wanted the case. I think I can see another one there. Ooh, pardon me. Um, yeah, I was more interested in these trays. Now, if you want to buy four trays like this all together on eBay as one lot, you're looking at about 15 quid at least alone, if not the 20 quid that I paid for this. So, in my mind, 20 quid with 48 cars is a damn good price. He said he got this at the car boot at Stalham this morning. I'm going to have to ride over to Stalham one of these days and go to that car boot. Because I have not been there for years. I used to love going to that one as well. Um, there's a few in here I don't have. There's some in here I'm going to keep and replace them with others, the others that I've got, like uh, um, a Ford Capri I got here. Anyway, so there's 48, so I'll go through them one by one. I think that's the easiest option. And then we'll have a look at the uh, vintage toy that I bought there. So this is one I don't think I'm going to keep. Although, having said that, I don't think I've seen one with red wheels before. But I don't know if that's factory issue. Or if someone has stuck something on the wheels. I think it's factory issue actually looking at that. They don't look like. I want to photograph this and uh, just post it to the Matchbox group I'm on, on Facebook. And uh, see what they think. But if there is an actual variation then I will keep that one. Next up. Got Corgi Juniors, Whiz Wheels, Fire Chief, Ford Capri. Now, even though I've got a few of these, I'm going to keep this one and probably chuck one of the other ones in the scrap box or something, or chuck it in the car boot box, because <laughs> none of them are as good as this one. This one's got the beacon on the top, it's got both Fire Chief stickers, which are still readable, and to be honest, the paintwork's not too bad. And it's not bent like one of the other ones, so... It's a definite keeper. Um, this one I can stick up for sale because I've got a few of these. So I'm not really interested in that little buggy. Um, what's this one? A Corgi Ferrari here in very nice condition. I think I've got this one boxed up on the shelf. But I wouldn't mind keeping one without a box as well. Sometimes I like to do that, and I do actually like Ferrari. Although I say I don't like, uh, you know, supercars and sports cars like that, but there is the odd few that I do actually like. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I have got this one as well. No, I'm going to sell that one. <laughs> it's got bent wheels, so it's not as good as my other one. And I'm saying that this one, I've already got this one in way better condition, so. If they're actually worth putting as a job lot on eBay. Shut up. This one I've got as well. This one might actually be in slightly better condition. I'm going to have to check it and compare it. Well, I have got that one. Then we've got another one of these. I'll say another one because I have got this as well. So this one can go in the... Uh, Pile to sell. Get down. Um, well, one of these in gold. Now, I have got a set the truck and the trailer and the canopies. 
So I don't know if these gold ones are actually rarer. I've actually just realised that this one's got the super fast wheels, the thin ones. So this would be an earlier super fast one. Just rotate that tow bar around. Here, yeah, another one of these. It's not in too bad shape. But I have got at least another one in roughly the same condition. Oh, blimey. Another mini. I've got several of these kicking around. And I've got a couple of these as well. And both of mine have also got bent wheels. I challenge someone to try and find one of these that's not boxed, not mint in boxed. Just loose like this without bent wheels. So we've got a Silver Jubilee double decker bus here. Celebrating the Queen Silver Jubilee. I do have one of these, so I don't know. I might keep that one as I am collecting these buses. <laughs> Really, Smudge? I've got a new pair of trainers on the floor and he's actually just opened the box to sniff them. They're my new trainers. What have you done with your sister? She's gone quiet. Don't look at me like that either. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but I've just started with the middle row on the next side. What have we got here? Ooh, is that a super fast version? Oh, it is. I haven't got the super fast version of this. So I'm going to keep that one. And the next one is a Corgi. And I don't have this in um, Corgi Juniors. I've got the Husky version before um, Corgi took them over, or before they became Corgi. And I haven't got this one. So that's a keeper. Right, I've got another one of these. Didn't realise that. Got two of these in here. Seem to be quite a popular casting. I see these quite a lot. Uh, we've got another corgi. I have got this in a couple of other colours, but not the purple. So that one's a keeper. This one isn't. This one can be sold. Even though I really do like. Must say, actually, it's got a bent trunk, so I might put that in my uh, jump box. Might be a good idea, actually, because they are, apart from having the chrome worn off the wheel hubs, the wheels are in actually pretty good condition. They would clean up. And they're the thin, super fast ones, so yeah, I'll put that one in my jump box. I've got several of these as well. A few different variations on them, like the sticker that's on the bonnet there. Actually, it wouldn't be the bonnet because the engine's in the back. But that's another one that seems to be quite a popular casting. Oh, this one's got red exhaust, though. Was that a variation? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Uh, another one. Do you know, I've actually got four of these. None of them have got all six tyres. I've all got at least two missing. <laughs> Um, ideal restoration projects, actually. I think I've actually thrown a couple of them in the junk box because I thought, you know, I would just keep them for the tyres. But yeah, I do buy vehicles like this when I see them at car boots, even if I've got a couple of tyres missing, just for the extra tyres. Um, that one's actually not in bad condition. It's missing the canopy, but... I've got a few of these in the collection, including in the scrap box, so that one can be moved on. I'll probably put these, the ones I don't want, as just one job lot and stick them up on eBay. And this Rolls Royce, I'll stick in the, uh, the and snowball. She's on off on the in the kitchen. Yeah, I've got a mint one of these. But again, just for the spare wheels more than anything. Although the front ones are bent, but 
you know, one of these days I would love to build a diorama using all of these junk cars in this scale. Matchbox, Majorette, Korg, I've got all sorts in that box. There's another one that can go in the lot for eBay. On account of, I think I've got two of these in the junk box already, so I don't really need any more. I've got two minters up on the shelf. One with the super fast wheels like this, and one with the regular wheels. And the same with this bulldozer. Although I will check it with the other ones, because I would prefer to keep the ones with the better paint. But guess what? There's another one of these in the bottom trays. Which means I've actually got four of these in total. Four little bulldozers. Right. Oh, I can't get all of the trays. There's one. You know, like I said, I just bought the trays, really. Um, where should we start? Let's start here. So, here's the other red bulldozer. <laughs> Told you there was two. Oh, it's got worse paint on it. So, yeah, we'll put that in the job lot as well. I've got another one here, which is, was a police car. It's had the roof chop modification. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but I've got another one of these police cars, which is also missing its roof, and that is exactly how I bought it. I literally just bought it for the spare interior and chassis and wheels. In case I come across another one that's got any one of those, that's bad. And actually, the interior on this is pretty clean. Busted tow hook, but do you really need a tow hook on an old police car? Not really. I don't know why Matchbox stuck it on there. So that's another one for the junk box. Oh, but one of these um, buses. I think that's like the second one of these buses I've got. I think. Could be my third, actually. And I've got one which has got some custom paint around the bottom of it. Is that just saying what this one it is, or is it just like London bus or something? It's a Daimler bus. Now, for this one, I oh, didn't realize there was two of those in here as well. This is made in Hong Kong, but I don't know who made it. Hong Kong's not Matchbox. Just a nice little tank, though, so I'm going to keep it. Um, Throw that one on the floor, shall I? I've actually got a few variations of this, and in total, I've probably got about six or seven of these now. But I was buying them at car boots for you know, like 50 odd p or whatever, something silly. Just again, just because of the wheels, the tyres, because they're handy to have as spares. You know, <laughs> if you can pick them up that cheap, you might as well keep them. I'm going to put that in my keep box now. This one I've got. But, this one's got the back door. It's not in the best, it's in play one condition, we've got a crack in the window, but look, it has the back door. I've got one in a different colour with the back door, but my other one in this colour... Um, I don't have a back door around, I was just looking at my window, I literally saw a bird go straight up like that. Or I presume it's a bird, or at least I hope it's a bird. Right, next up, either that or I truly am going body gaga. I'm not going to show you both of these because there is two in here and these aren't in the best of condition. Why are my cats, they are literally, right, this is what both of them have done so far. They're going through there, via the back of my chair, and then coming back around again and going back up and through. If it keeps them occupied, I'm fine with it, but it <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I've got another one of these as well. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see that one in here. Alright. Let's just move you a little bit. I have no idea. I can't quite read the bottom. Um, and naturally, <clears throat> the magnified glass I was using the other day is not here. Because I can't 
see it. I can't get it in the light, right light actually to bloody read it. I think... Oh, it's not cool here. I'm not sure what that one is. It's interesting though, so that'll be kept. And there's another one of these pink buggy things. And then we've got another one of those um, hovercrafts and... I just want to add this train if I can get it. It's a race car with um, the engine missing and bent wheels. <clears throat> right, the last train. We actually have a couple of actually have three fire trucks in this one. So we've got a matchbox one in that sort of bronze colour they did. We have got. One of these, which I think is a Mac. Mac's? I think, yeah, there's called a fire pumper truck on there. I can't remember what they are. I think it's a Mac. If anyone knows different, let me know in the comments. Um, oh, that's a super fast version. I don't see many of them. I've got a couple of the regular wheels. I'm not sure if I've got super fast. Next up, a Majorette. And why did Majorette do that with the wheels? Because it just looks stupid. I have got a few of these trucks in different colours now. That one I actually quite like in that colour. I just don't know why they put the stupid wheels on the back. Front, rather. Apparently I don't know which is the back and which is the front now. I've got another Corgi ERF fire tender. I've got a few of these in various different versions and some doubles. And well, this has got different wheels on. I've got one with that wheel on. Um, I've got a few of these buses, so that can go in the lot for eBay. And I've been looking at this one every time I looked at the tray because I can't figure out what it is. What is it? It's a Citroen. It says Maserati, but I thought they were two different cars. It's a DS, I think, looking at that. A ma uh, Majorette version. A little bit rough, but I do like my Majorettes. So, ooh, we've got some bent wheels at the front as well. Always with the bent wheels. Another Corgi Simmons snorkel. Missing the uh, snorkel. <laughs> Should be a um, aerial platform on the back of that, but they all go missing. Now, this mini moke piqued my interest because I was wondering what it was. Oh, it was a Dinky Toys little mini moke with a big old spare tyre hiding underneath it. Which could actually be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's for the rear of that tractor. And that one has just fallen off and rolled across the floor somewhere. I don't even know what direction that went. It could be in that pile of crap down there. Well, this one has actually had the axles all broken on. I think it's beyond restoration because it's literally all busted at the front there. But we've got a good rear axle on it. We did have two good tyres, but the other ones uh, kind of ran off. <laughs> Right, three more. And I have got another one of these in better condition, so that can go in the uh, selling pile. I don't know what to do with that one. I don't know whether to put that in my junk box or to sell it. I think I've already got one in the junk box, so. And I've got a couple of uh, minters. Now, is this a Matchbox bus? I don't think it is. It's quite a nice looking bus though. No, it's just a generic made in China bus. It does look nice though. It is just identical on both sides. I don't think real buses work like that. Not always. And doors and everything will be different and compartment doors. Right, why is that side sticking out? Comboing isn't there. There we go. 
I'm blaming this on an American friend of mine that's on my Discord server. <laughs> um, he, during the week he posted up a couple of photos where he'd found one of these for a few dollars in a thrift store. And I sat thinking and I thought, you know, I've been wanting to buy another one of these for a long time. And then it just slipped my mind until he posted those photos of the one he got for a few dollars. And the reason I've always wanted to buy another one of these is because I had one of these when I was growing up, you know, when I was a little toddler. Um, and from what I've read up, these are from 1983, they're made by Play School. And it's got a four wheel drive and two wheel drive lever there, and forward, forward, and reverse there. And a power switch which was meant to have a key in it here. Now this was completely dead when I put batteries in it. Which I'm not really too fussed about because I did really just want it as a display piece. Because I really loved this thing when I had it as a kid. To the point where I played with it so much I'd actually broken both of these. They both snapped. I mean, you can still use it, you can still get something in there and still move them, but yeah. Um, of course, after 40 odd years, all these stickers are peeling off. These are the worst ones, though, these aren't too bad. But yeah, it was only uh, 15 quid on eBay, plus £3.50, I think it was, for shipping. And of course, for one in, ones in good working order with key go for quite a lot more. I mean, I got this cheap because it was sold as not working um, and no key. And it seems like a lot of them don't have the key anymore. That's one of those things, you know, that just easily gets lost. But I think you can actually turn it on and off just by doing that. I don't think you actually need the key per se. But it is nice. And I don't know why, but this feels like just such nice tough plastic I wouldn't actually be afraid to open this up and see if I could get it to work but I don't think I will yeah well I'm not in any hurry to anyway I might do one day and if I remember rightly I believe the headlights light up as well because I've actually looked on the inside here and I can see what look like light pipes going off into the middle so a bit when I do open this up or if I open this up there will be like a little light bulb in there. It's only four screws and then just a couple of it just sort of hooks in at the back here. It doesn't even look like there's any wear on the tile and the axles aren't even bent either. Look at that. There's a very tiny bit in there. I've got to find somewhere to put that now. Ooh. I've got people commenting, commenting on my uh, posts on beautifully practical steel bikes. I do like that group. Uh, but while I'm here, I'll just show you the two vintage bikes that I bought today as I've got photos. So, that's bike number one. That is a rally, and I don't know the year. That's better. Is that the rally? Nope, sorry, that is the Triumph. Sorry, that is the rally, because the rally's got the full enclosed chain guard. And it's even got the disc at the front. <laughs> These are usually missing. 
Um, but uh, I will admit I paid 80 quid for the pair plus quite a nice box of um, assorted spares and even some tools. Tires have held air. This has got a new back tire on. It's a Schwab. Um, and it does ride. Lights don't work because there's some wire damage on the other side. Someone got overzealous with the bloody PVC tape on it, which I have now pulled off. Um, this looks bloody hideous. Brakes don't work. That could do with um, either some adjustment. Keep in mind they're rod brakes, not cable brakes. Or um, I could just chuck some other brake blocks on because there was a load that came with them. And there's the uh, Triumph. Uh, oh, there's also a pair of spare wheels with them and two rear mudguards. But, um, that one, I pumped the tyres up, went for a ride, lights work. Um, again, someone has gotten overzealous with the bloody PVC tape, which I've actually taken off now and changed for cable tyres, because I just think cable tyres look neater, especially compared to, you know, about six rolls of PVC tape wrapped around it. Um, yeah, that rode perfectly fine. I'm just in the process of um, cleaning it up as best I can, and that's the one I wanted to keep. I've always wanted one of these old bikes with the rod brakes um, for many years, but I could never find one in like half decent condition. There was always something bloody broken on them, parts that I couldn't find or they were just in complete crap condition like my Hercules because I've also got a Hercules um, which needed another back wheel because the hubs fudged. I mean I could strip the wheel down, re-chrome the rim and rebuild it but I don't really want to go that in depth with it. Um, so I'm keeping the Triumph I'm going to put the rally once I've cleaned that up and whatnot. And I'm in two minds whether to keep the lights because I've got a set identical here and that would be useful to keep them as spares, especially for the bulbs because you can't buy them anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one yet. So I might leave the lights on, I might take them off. Either way, I'll probably make sure they work before I take them off. Um, clean up as best I can get the brakes to work and I'll probably put that one up for sale as a restoration project um, and put the Hercules up as well because that's the one that is the perfect size for me as well I've taken that bag off because it is unfortunately just knackered same with the rally it was just even actually the one on the rally was worse a lot worse I'm just about to see my little bike trailer that I've got over at Mum's. I do actually use this. Because um, Mum does ask me just to pop down to the shop and pick up like some cans of Pepsi or something. It's just easier to chuck it in there. It's connected to my um, Schwinn Hybrid that I got in um, a large job lot of bikes, bike frames and bike parts that I bought a few weeks ago for 70 quid. As soon as I've got the PC in the workshop, because this is my entrance to the workshop now, uh, <laughs> I will start recording my own videos and whatnot over there. I've got a camcorder there ready. The PC is actually set up. The problem is the monitor I had, which was also a TV, has decided to die. I think because I actually left the socket, left them turned on at the wall, at the socket, when it was up in the wooden shed, I think water leaked in, well I know water leaked in through the roof, I've got a feeling it's dropped on that monitor and it's probably blown something in the power supply. It couldn't have blown anything else because the monitor would have been in standby. You know, or off. Um, so it's probably blown something on the, um, power supply board so I'm going to open it up and have a look if I can see something obvious then I'll see if I can fix it if not I'm not too worried because I've got a monitor and another TV here that's got to get over to mum <sighs> so 
actually not often I zoom in with the camera, is it? Not often at all. Oh. About 45 minutes. This video, because I am done. There is nothing else to uh, mention or show. <coughs> I can do that though. Whew. Holy moly. Uh, cats are quieting down a little bit. <coughs> it's not going to be long. Once I've shut the camera down, it's not going to be long before I get to bed, I don't think. Um, I must remember, I've got to uh, put some fuel in the moped before I head over to Mum's tomorrow. Because I'm low. Yeah, right. As my mind keeps going blank and I can't think of anything else to add, I will... Uh, shut the video down here so thanks a lot for watching everyone uh, as always um, I'll leave links in the video description below for um, my other two YouTube channels I've got a gaming channel I've got the Lego channel Lego channel is on, on hiatus at the minute but I do plan to bring it back from the dead and blow the cobwebs off um, plus I'm going to link to my Twitch account because Hopefully, at weekends, or maybe during a week if I have spare time, whenever I've got spare time, really, I'm going to stream mostly video games. Or, at the weekends, when I'm in the workshop, I plan to stream in there. Because I've got a webcam there, so I'm just going to let it run and just, you know, have a general hangout while I'm mucking around with things in the workshop. Um, what else? Oh, and the Discord server, obviously, so... If you haven't got Discord, I would actually recommend getting it. It is a very good chat service and it is mobile friendly. There is a mobile version for it. I've actually not got it on, uh, installed on my phone yet. You know, I've had that phone for, what, a year now? <laughs> um, then again, I might not bother because I've got Discord on the PC over at Mum's, so I can just use it there. It'd be about the only place I'd really want to use Discord, so... Yeah, right. Again, thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!